Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajni Khan and today's video we will gonna discuss how to find all the names from a list of employees based on department. Okay, so for example, I have a list of employees. So I want to find all the names from HR department. Okay, or I want to find all the names of all employee names from IT department okay this is very uh, popular interview question so let's see how we can do that on using java streams so already i have opened my intellij idea and i have done some setup because it will take some time to create this entity classes like uh, employee class so here if you see already i have created this employee class with uh, four attributes name is salary department and here i have uh, created a uh, public constructor with all those uh, parameters name is salary and department and I, I do have all setter and getters in this employee class okay so our entity class is ready now let's see how we can do right so I have already defined a test class so where if you see uh, I have created uh, somewhere nine employees with different parameters so name is salary and department so i have here two departments it and hr okay so let's see uh, how to find all the names from this uh, list where department is hr okay so already i have uh, around nine objects i have created then then i have added all those objects into a list so i have created a array list and i have added all those to this array list so let's see how we can do that one so first employee list dot stream will apply then what we can do so we need to filter we need to filter all these employees based on department okay so first we'll filter these employees only we will pass wherever the department is hr okay so first we'll filter here so let's apply here filter so filter in filter what we'll do we'll filter employees based on department okay so let's do here so here we'll pass a lambda i will show you and emp dot get get name not get name get department get department dot equals as hr so this is the filter we have applied okay so filter employees based on the department is hr so filter out all the em all the employees whose department is hr okay so if you'll see here filter the filter will take a predicate so predicate is a functional interface let's go to this predicate so if you'll see predicate it's a uh, abstract uh, method is there is test so this test method will take a parameter and will return a boolean type okay so for this for this method or for this functional interface for this predicate we have applied or we have supplied this we have passed this lambda okay so here we are returning this boolean right so equals method will return boolean if you'll see here this boolean so we have filtered out right so from this list list of employees we have filtered out all the employees whose department is hr okay now we got all these employees who are belongs to from hr department next what we need to do we need to find all the names of those employees so how we'll do there is a method is known as map okay so this map will transform the input right it will transform the data so what we can do here so employ and emp dot get name okay so let's deep dive into this map method so this map method the parameter is function so function is a predefined functional interface in java 8 
okay so let's go to this function if you see here i have one apply method this apply method will take a parameter and it will return a different data type just see r okay so the same way we have applied here okay then what we can do so now we have done so first from the list we have filtered the filtered the employees uh, who are belongs to uh, hr department then we have mapped those objects to a string right for each employee object we are extracting those names or we are converting employee into a string data type right so from employee to we are getting a string string means here name okay so next what we can do here collect and here we can do collectors collectors dot to list okay sorry is collectors dot to list we have done here so what we'll get at the end we'll get list of string right those names we'll get names okay so we have done now let's test this one so how we'll test we'll iterate this list of names and we'll see whether it's printing only those employee names those are from hr department or not so names dot so let's apply for each method in java 8 so here system dot i am putting the method reference system dot out and here print ln so we have done now let's run this one and we'll gonna see okay so uh, before that one okay before printing this output if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get all the notification from my side okay so this is my uh, channel and if you'll see lot of other java 8 videos and design patterns interview questions action handling okay microservices git all those videos are there right so this is really very helpful to people uh, uh, do spend some time and watch those videos okay and don't forget to subscribe my channel okay already uh, this one done compilation and it's running okay so let's see so three names it printing right uh, cheng jerry ronak das uh, lipi bhanket okay so if you'll see so first let's see hr so how many hrs are there three hrs okay so hr cherry uh, cheng jerry one hr and another one is ronak das and another is lipi bhanket okay so hope you got a clear idea that how we can uh, get the names uh, or find all the names uh, based on those department right so hope this video is really helpful to people please uh, do share your valuable in the valuable comments in the comment section anyway you will <laughs> it will not ask for any money to to put some comments or do some uh, like this video okay so yes uh, do like and comment in the comment section right so thank you for watching guys have a nice day